Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video, I am going to explain about the manufacturing processes to manufacture the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. Before we get started, remember in my previous video, I had asked you to watch two videos related to manufacturing processes. If you haven't watched them, I suggest you go and watch those two videos before watching this video. Let me explain the first video. What you are seeing on the screen is a press tool mounted on a press. A press is a machine. As the name indicates, a press tool is a tool mounted on the press machine. Usually, a press tool has two assemblies, the top assembly and the bottom assembly. The top assembly and the bottom assembly are aligned using a guide pillar and a guide bush. The guide pillar is usually mounted on the bottom assembly and the guide bush is usually mounted on the top assembly. The top assembly is mounted on the press ram using clamps. Press ram is a part of the press machine which moves up and down. The upward and the downward movement of this ram is called stroke. The bottom assembly is mounted on the press bolster using clamps. A press bolster is a plate present on the press bed. Then we have the operator who operates the machine and also handles the raw material and the finished component. We can also see the locator pins which locates the raw material strip. These pins are commonly referred to as strip guide pins. I hope you have a fair understanding of the parts of the press tool. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Now let me explain the manufacturing process. What you are seeing on screen is the press operator positioning the raw material strip in between the strip guide pins. Once he operates the press machine, the press ram comes down. When the press ram goes up, you can see a finished product is manufactured. The operator picks the finished product. Now you can see the operator has moved the raw material strip in the forward direction. This movement is called pitch. Then he operates the press machine. The press ram comes down. Once the press ram goes up, you can see one more finished component has been manufactured. You can also observe the scrap that is generated out of this manufacturing process. To summarize, Press tools are used to manufacture sheet metal components. With every stroke of a press, we get one sheet metal component. So the productivity of press tools are very high. Because of high productivity, press tools are used in mass production environment like the automotive industry. Now let me explain the second video. The geometry of this press tool looks different but the construction of the press tool is similar to what we saw in the previous video. This press tool also has the top assembly and the bottom assembly. The top assembly and the bottom assembly are aligned using a guide pillar and a guide bush. The guide pillar is usually mounted on the bottom assembly and the guide bush is usually mounted on the top assembly. We can also see the strip guide pins which are used to precisely position the raw material strip. Both the top assembly and the bottom assembly are mounted on the press machine using clamps. Now let me explain the manufacturing process. You can see the operator has positioned the raw material strip using the strip guide pins. Once he operates the machine, the press ram comes down. Once the press ram goes up, you can observe a finished component has been manufactured. Now the operator advances the raw material strip that is he moves the raw material strip forward. This forward movement is called pitch. 
you can also observe this time the strip is butting against the stopper pin. Once the operator operates the machine, the press ramp comes down. Once the press ramp goes up, you can see one more finished component has been manufactured. This procedure is repeated again and again to manufacture sheet metal components. To summarize, press tools are used to manufacture sheet metal components. With every stroke of a press, we get one finished component. Due to its high productivity, press tools are employed in industries where mass production is very essential. For example, the automotive industry. Now, you must be wondering, the press tool manufacturing process looks a bit tedious. The operator has to collect the raw material strip. Then he has to position the raw material strip between the guide pins. He has to operate the press. Again, he has to advance the raw material strip. Again, he has to operate the press. He has to collect the finished components. He also has to dispose the scrap. Looks a bit tedious, right? Not necessarily. Press tools are employed in a variety of industries to manufacture sheet metal components. Nevertheless, automated press lines are also employed in the industry. Watch this video and then don't forget to leave a comment on your observations. Now, let's get back to our lesson objective. I will explain the manufacturing processes to manufacture the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. Manufacturing the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack is a three-step process. Step 1. Processing of the raw material. Step 2. Perform the piercing and the blanking operation. Step 3. Perform the bending operation. Let me explain in detail. In step 1, we are going to process the raw material. The raw material is nothing but a sheet metal strip. This sheet metal strip is cut from a larger sheet metal that comes from the steel manufacturing plant. Cutting that larger sheet metal into strips is raw material processing. In step 2, we are going to make two holes in the raw material strip which is called the piercing operation. We are also going to cut the periphery of the power screw support bracket which is called the blanking operation. As you can observe, the piercing operation generates scrap and the blanking operation generates the useful product. In step 3, we are going to take the useful product that came out of the blanking operation and then we are going to bend as per the design. After we bend, we have the finished end product, the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. Let me summarize. The manufacturing process of a power screw support bracket is a three-step process. In step one, we are going to process the raw material. In step two, we are going to perform the piercing operation and the blanking operation. In step three, we are going to bend and then we have the final end product, the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. That's all in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do leave a comment. Thanks.